Stephen wampuzilia mbali madai kwamba huenda alipewa sumu Gishiru aligonga vicho vya habari baada ya kujisalimisha mwenyewe mbele ya mahakama ya kimataifa ya uhalifu wa ICC kwa tuhuma za kuwahonga mashahidi kwenye kesi ambayo ilimwandama William Ruto na mwanahabari Joshua Arpsang wili lusige na taarifa hii This was done through a combination of bribery and intimidation Kifo cha wakili Paul Gisheru kimewacha wengi kwa mshangao. Gisheru aliripotiwa kufariki Jumatatu jioni kihafla akipumzika nyumbani kwake katika eneo hili la Northwood Villas mtaani Karen, viungani mwa jiji la Nairobi. Last night at about 11 p.m. I had gone to bed early. I was asleep. My phone rang several times. I decided to wake up and pick up the phone. I was then told that uh, the sad news that my friend colleague Paul Kisheru had died. Mwanawe ndiye aliyepiga kamsa baada ya kumpata babake akiwa amefariki huku ikidaiwa alikuwa anatokwa na povu. Marafiki wake wa karibu wakisema siku za hivi karibuni alionekana mwenye msongo wa mawazo ishara tosha alikuwa akisumbuliwa na jambo fulani. It appears as if uh, you know um he was not uh, you know he was not himself uh, yeah he was in a stressful condition it appears at some stage and so on wakipuzilia mbali madai kuwa huenda alipewa chakula chenye sumu what i'm reading in social media that uh, he probably ate some food and so on it doesn't appear to be so yeah yeah and the, the, the son who is now in the hospital i see it appears to me that he was uh, just uh, shaken and struck uh, you know seeing his father dying and uh, that may have affected him very adversely Gisheru aligonga vicho vya habari baada ya kujisalimisha mwenyewe mbele ya mahakama ya kimataifa ya uhalifu ya ICC mwezi Novemba mwaka 2020 kujibu madai ya kuwahonga mashahidi dhidi ya Rais William Ruto na Joshua Arapsang kuhusu kuhusika kwao kwenye vita vya machafuko ya kisiasa ya mwaka 2007 baada 